Brown ain't sturgeon this the way I play and I was Hey there, I'm Stephanie Langston for Y'all Wire in Nashville at the Hard Rock Cafe where I caught up with Jason Sturgeon and his friends Tim Rushlow and Craig Campbell who are doing their part to help end breast cancer. I'm a good old boy, you know that's right. I'm Pike County, the morning, noon and night. Be me who I want to be. Yeah, that's me. Mr. Craig Campbell on my lip. Yeah. It's, it's amazing at what a good old shindiggle that bring good friends together. That's right. You can tell me about your grandpa and how he turned you on to Hank. But if you gotta tell me how country you are, you probably ain't. On my right, Mr. Tim Rushlow. Everybody. This is a great venue. I'm honored to be here and uh, with these cats up here. And, uh, and for a great cause, we need to get rid of cancer. It's, it's been around way too long and it's overrated and it needs to go away. Tim, this is your first Nashville show in a long time. Where have you been? I'm on the road a lot. You yeah. know? Um, I've kind of created a new show. I've got a one man, one guitar, one night. It's just my own little show. I kind of I went back to the very uh, earliest memory I could have of music. My dad was a rock singer, my mom was a country singer. So I went back to my early early memories of just listening to stuff growing up and, and kind of wrote a show based on that. And it's got all the things that influenced me growing up, all the hits in Little Texas, all the things that I had as a solo artist. And then just some other eclectic stuff and kind of created a 90 minute show. And I do a lot of uh, theaters and cabarets and stuff like that. It's been a lot of fun and I've enjoyed it. But you need to bring it to Nashville more. Well, you know, there's talk, there's a rumor of that. Actually, there's a lot more rumor of Nashville these days. Um, I'm, uh, you know, I, I would never thought at 46, I just turned 46, so I would have never thought at this time that there would be another deal out there, but uh, I turned in some new songs the other day, and crazy as it may sound, there's uh, there's some, some action going on. So it's kind of interesting. We'll see what happens. But, well, that's exciting. Look yeah. forward to hearing the big news, hopefully. Fingers yeah, crossed. there you go. Talk about what brought you here tonight. Is it because you're really friends with Jason, or are you here for the cause? No, both. Okay. Both. Totally here for the cause. I mean, I, I, you know, I'll give you a great example. Um, cancer, whether it's breast cancer or any kind of cancer, it's a bad deal. we got to be rid of it. It needs to be out. I should be running for office right now. Yes. You know, sorry, I'm in the in, in debate mode. Do you it. know, uh, I mean, like one of my very dear friends, Tim uh, Johnson, just passed away two days ago. Tim wrote "She Misses Him," which is one of the biggest solo hits I ever had, and it just passed away of colon cancer. So, you know, it's appropriate for me to play that song in his honor tonight, but also just to uh, let people know until that disease is wiped off the face of the earth, we got an issue, and anything we can do to make money for it and to raise awareness, we need to do it. Ooh, I bet it back in Austin working at the Zona Rosa Cafe I remember the night we lost it day she went away was it the angry words or did she miss her mama I don't know but it don't feel right I bet Amy's back in Austin and I'm missing her 